In this video, we are going to be talking about the best way to reduce noise in Photoshop. But I'm going to tell you something up front. Remember I said reduce noise, not remove noise. All the softwares, no matter how advanced technology goes, it can always reduce noise, not remove noise. Yes, it can reduce it to such an extent that it barely becomes noticeable. But yes, you cannot remove noise. Before we begin, let me quickly explain how are we going to approach this. By the way, have you ever edited audio before? Sound? If you have not, you'll get what I'm trying to explain. Okay, so whenever you are recording audio in a noisy environment, how does it sound? It sounds like, hi, my name is Unmesh. Today I'm going to be talking about you see, the, there's a noise in between and that noise is called white noise. And if you have ever edited audio before, or even if you have not, what we usually do to remove that noise is to give the computer a sample of that noise. For example, the noise was like, the sound was like, S -s -s, my name is Unmesh Tinda. So S -s, that's, we select that and give it to the computer and tell the computer, okay, this is noise, get this, this is noise and remove every instance of this kind of sound from the whole audio. And that's how we are going to approach noise reduction in image two. We are going to give the computer, in this case Photoshop, that okay, this is the noise and you need to remove this from all over the image. Now, we are going to do this by using the plugin called Define 2. It's a part of Nick collection by Google. Wait, do you need to panic about this? No, absolutely not. Is it free? Definitely, positively. Is it safe? Genuinely it is safe because it's made by Google. Google owns it, right? Though it's made by Nick, later owned by Google. So Google owns it. So it's 100% safe, 100% free completely there's no such thing as trial version it's all full version it's free google is giving this out to you so pause the video go ahead and download this and i totally recommend this not just for noise reduction for image editing as a whole okay so it comes as a plugin for photoshop and lightroom and also as a standalone version a standalone version is like a software in itself you'll be able to open it and import your images just like Photoshop and Lightroom or any other image editing software. So three kinds of variations available. Plugin for Photoshop, plugin for Lightroom and standalone version. Once you download and install it, all the three get installed automatically. So without any further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So here we are in Photoshop and this is one of my favorite images that I've ever taken. So to remove noise, if you have installed Nick Collection, it should appear under Filter Menu. So if you click Filter, there will be Nick Collection. Under this, we'll go with Define 2. Alright, click on it. Now this loads up the image and gives the image an automatic noise reduction. So it analyzed this area and this area and gave it an automatic image reduction analyzing the noise from that area. But you know what, that doesn't give an excellent result. As you can see, let me zoom in. It didn't give an excellent result. I can still see the noise and some of the details are gone. So if I look at the before and after, so this is the before. If you click on preview, uncheck it, this shows you the before. Click it again, this is after. It's good. But what if you want to do it manually? That's what we're going to do in this tutorial. So let's click reset. All right, it shows you image not profiled. Then click on this drop down menu beside method and select manual. And then you see this box? Now, we need to select areas for noise samples. Now, when you pick up noise samples, make sure, number one, it's an even area, okay? It's a flat, even surface. It can be the sky, it can be a plain wall, it can be anything, but it should be an even surface. There shouldn't be a light and shade. You should pick an area as such that the noise is even throughout. Number two, noise should be equal in each part of the area that you have selected. There shouldn't be different kinds of noise in the same area that you have selected. Now, what do I mean by this? Let's just do it. You'll get a hang of it. Okay, click on this square plus icon, add rectangle, click on it and pick out an even area like this. 
Now, you shouldn't pick out an area like this. Okay, to add another square to another rectangle, all right, so click on this again, and you shouldn't pick an area like this, because in this, we have two different kinds of shades, two different tones, and probably two different types of noise, so this is the wrong area to pick. So if you have picked the wrong area, you can easily delete it if you want, you can resize it if you want, so to delete it, click on it and press delete. It's gone, all right? So pick another square, pick out even areas. Let's do it throughout the image. So this image is totally zoomed in so that we can go through and pick out even areas. So for example, this is an even area, all right? So this is an even area, a darker even area, all right? This is totally dark, there's no detail in there. I think here we can get some noise samples. Pick up from here, good. This dark area just a little bit. This dark area, okay. Don't make the triangle a rectangle, sorry. <laughs> My geometry is kind of weak and it was. I actually failed in it once. Not failed, but very low marks. Let's not get sidetracked, okay. so. Don't make the rectangle bigger because you get two kinds of shades. So keep it small, keep it simple, keep it even. All right, so let's add one more. If you have noticed, I'm recording this video at 2.29 a.m. in the morning because today I was very busy. I'll click on it again. Let's pick a sample here. And let's see where else we can get some samples. So, and the door stopper, yes, we can get some samples from here. Good, amazing. You can turn off the preview to get it faster, to get the process a little faster. All right, so it doesn't load up so quickly and you don't have to wait so much. All right, I think we are pretty much done. You can pick out more samples if you want. The more samples you pick, the better, but make sure make sure that the surface is even, noise is even. All right, so let's zoom in, let's see where else we can pick up noise from, maybe somewhere in the ground, all right? So let's see whether we can go to the ground. So yes, one of the easiest ways to navigate if you don't wanna navigate again and again and again to go to the, go to the other corner of the image is to use this, watch this. Watch this triangle. This gives you a bird's eye view. You can drag to the area of the image that you want and boom, there you have it. Now let's pick out some other noise samples from here. Maybe from the ground just a little bit. Now every time you need to add a rectangle, click on it, add a rectangle, click on it, add a rectangle. I just hope Google updates it in its next update, but Unfortunately, it has not been updated yet, but the plugin works amazingly. All right, so we have picked another, uh, enough noise samples. So the next thing with the, that we need to do, we need to click on measure noise. So let's zoom out, control minus. Okay, so if you're wondering how was I zooming in, zooming out, it's the same shortcut that we use in Photoshop CC or any kind of Photoshop, any Photoshop or even any browser, it's control plus or command plus if you're using a Mac. So once you're done with selecting areas that have noise, all you have to do is you have to click on measure noise and it will work out the noise and it will take in the noise samples, analyze it and remove it throughout the image. Now watch, it has done an amazing job. Let me just click OK and it shows you the before and after uh, on the right hand side on in the loop. Have a look. Have a look at the before and after. So this is before, this is after. Now as you can see, as I warned you before, there's no software that can remove noise. You will always reduce noise. And if some software removes noise completely, it's making your image smoother, all right? So click OK once you're satisfied with it. So the effect has been applied and the best thing about this is that have a look, this has created another layer called Define2 with all the noise removal done. This has not destroyed the original layer Pigeon so that everything is still intact. If you think the effect is too much, you can always go ahead and decrease the opacity. Now, let's have a look. Let's zoom in and let's have a look at the before and after. So as you can already see, there's a very nice reduction in noise. So if I turn off this layer, so this was before, 
this is after. Now, isn't this amazing? All right, so, but when you do noise reduction, you see that if you find there are some areas which has lost details, all you have to do, okay, so this is before, this is after. If you want some more details in his fur, and if you don't mind noise in those areas, all you have to do, you have to turn on this layer, all right, create a mask, click on this button, this creates a mask, take a brush, make sure black is selected. If it's not, click on this icon and press X. So if it's some other color, pro tip, if it's some random color selected here and there, all right, all you have to do, click on this tiny icon that you can see, two squares, click on this and this will turn to its default color. Press X again to get black in the foreground and white in the background and start painting over the areas that you think should have the noise, all right? That you don't mind having the noise and have the details instead. So let's paint over it and there you have it. You'll get back all the details, all the noise in those specific areas, all right? So no, no, that's ugly. That's good. So that's how you reduce noise in Photoshop, whether it's a sky, whether it's a night sky, some of you requested about night sky, whether it's a landscape, whether it's a portrait, whatever it is. You can use the same steps to remove noise, just make sure that you pick out an even surface. So what do we get from this tutorial? Number one, do you have to download Nick Collection. It's an amazing set of plugins. My favorite is Color Effects Pro and Silver Effects Pro. And Silver Effects Pro does some amazing black and white conversion if you're interested in that. So number two, pick out an even surface. Number three, make sure that the noise is equally distributed in the area that you select. Number four, if you think that an area has lost details, if you think you don't mind noise in that particular area, you can always create a mask and paint with black on it. So that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Also, don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe, click on that bell button so that you don't miss anything. Thanks a lot for watching guys. By the way, follow me on Snapchat. I just downloaded it at the rate picks imperfect and also on Instagram and other social media handles, but I'm very excited about Snapchat. I just downloaded it. So do follow me there. I'll see you there. Bye. Peace.